Example 20, find the solution of sin x is equal to minus root 3 by 2. Here in the question, they did not mention if we need to find the principal solution or the general solution. So we will only find the general solution. We need not find the principal solution. So sin x is equal to minus root 3 by 2. We can also write it as sin x is equal to minus sin pi by 3. Because root 3 by 2 is nothing but sin pi by 3. So sin x is equal to this minus will shift here in the theta. Okay, so it will be sin minus pi by 3. Because we have minus root 3 by 2 here, the value of minus root 3 by 2 will be sin minus pi by 3. So now sin x is equal to sin minus pi by 3 is in the form of sin theta is equal to sin y. For sin theta is equal to sin y, we have a theta relation that is equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole raised to n into y. So here theta will be x and y will be minus pi by 3. So let's substitute the values of theta and y. That is theta is x, n pi, minus 1 whole raised to n and y is minus pi by 3. I didn't write minus here. Instead of writing minus here, I changed this plus and I wrote the minus here. So this is only the general solution in which we will have the n terms. We have the n terms here. That's why it is called as a general solution. In your textbook, you may find a different value. You may find here 4 pi by 3. Uh, but the values will remain same. You may get the different pi terms, but the value remains same. The value of minus pi by 3 and plus 4 pi by 3, which is given in your textbook, has the same value of minus root 3 by 2. So it is uh, no different. So don't confuse yourself. Okay, both are correct. So that's all. Thank you.